this video, you will learn about alarm management on the Carescape R860. The alarm bar gives visual indication of parameter and technical alarms. The alarm bar contains audio pause and the audio pause timer, alarm status and active alarm count, and alarm setup. The alarm priority is as follows. High priority alarms are red with a series of five tones. Medium priority alarms are yellow with a series of three tones and low alarms are blue with a single tone. The alarm setup menu contains apnea time, alarm light brightness, alarm volume, high alert audio, alarm limits, and auto limits. Alarm limits. Select the checkbox to show alarm limits adjacent to the measured data in the patient data workspace. The alarm limit always shows when an alarm occurs for the measured data, even if it is set to off. For auto limits, select the auto alarm limits based on current measured data for expired minute ventilation, low and high, expired tidal volume, low and high, expired rate, low and high, and tidal CO2, low and high, and expired PEEP, low and high. To adjust your alarm limit settings, select alarm setup. Select either the low or high alarm limit and then use the trim knob to adjust the setting. Or select within the border of the active alarm on the measured data screen to open the alarm setup menu. Select the active alarm limit then use the trim knob to adjust the setting. Alarm setting changes that are not confirmed prior to the end of a timeout period are canceled. Alarm limits for end tidal CO2, end tidal oxygen, and inspired PEEP are only available when an airway module with these measurement capabilities is installed. If the patient type is neonatal, these alarm limits are not shown.